Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually level up fast and easy by doing these three simple RP methods. So of course I'll be showing you three different kinds in this video and depending on which one you choose will have different requirements. So before we actually go and start off with everything let's just go ahead and get on with our daily shoutouts which is going to go to all of these people. So everyone you see on the screen here have been subscribed since the last video was published. So thank you for that. And if you guys like to be featured in the next shout out, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to your channel, and also comment down below. Not only does this help with the video's ratings, but you also get in the next shout out. Alright, so just starting off with this, we're going to be doing our very first RP method. And that is going to be doing... The adversary mode till death do us parts. Now currently this is triple money and RP for this week. Due to it being Valentine's Day week in Grand Theft Auto. And so in order to actually start this up. What you want to do is make your way into any GTA Online session. After that you want to press options. Go to Online. Go to Jobs. And now depending on what you want, you want to do. For me since I always play by myself. I always go over to Quick Join. And just do a random adversary mode. That way it makes me join into someone else's game. Now if you have players you can do this with. Just go over to play jobs. Go over to Rockstar Created. Head down to adversary mode. And then keep going until you find till death do us part. And then there's actually going to be a, a 7 of them that you can choose from. So that's really nice. This unlocks at rank 1. So anyone can do this. But it does require 3 additional players in order to start it. So basically how this adversary mode works is you're actually going to be in different teams and actually pairs. And so what you're basically doing is needing to take out the enemy players and be the last one standing. Now it's very important to always be around your actual, um, you know, your teammate. Because it actually will help with speeding up the health regeneration. And I believe that when one of your um, teammates die, you automatically kill yourself. I'm not exactly sure how that works or when they do it, but it's very back and forth. Like I said, I didn't really understand this adversary mode. All I knew was just to take out the enemy players and be the last one standing. Now for this one, we actually did lose because you can either set it to one round or two rounds, and we only had it set to one for this one. We made $7,000, which is really not that good, as well as 653 RP. So yeah, uh, very terrible RP method if you're only having this set to one round. But if you're having it set to two, and depending on the amount of players you kill, it, that's where the RP comes in. So you see here for first place, they got around 856 RP for it, uh, which is not bad, but it's not the best either. Uh, so of course, that's basically the best reverse remote for RP that we have for this week. That is triple money and RP. So now let's go ahead and move on to our second RP method, which makes way more than this one, which is why this one is actually the first one that I did. But the only reason I chose it was because it has no level requirement in order to start it. So that was the first method. Now we're going to move on to our second one, which is going to be doing the RP on cleaning the cat house mission. Now for this one, it's actually very simple. There's no requirements or anything that you need to do. Now, I do believe there is an RP level requirement for actually starting the mission. So, what you want to do is just, of course, go into any GT Online session. From here, press Options, go to Online, go to Jobs, go to Play Jobs, go down to Rockstar Created. Head down until you find Missions. And then you want to keep going until you find Cleaning the Cat House. So, this one does not unlock at Ring 45. So, it's actually a pretty high level requirement for this. But this one's actually a really amazing one just because you can do it by yourself and it's actually not a hard mission to do it. So from here, just start it up. And then once you're on the setting screen, it's set the difficulty to hard mode for the most amount of cash and RP. From here, just confirm settings and then start it up. Now this one's going to be a bit different. Basically for this mission, what we have to do is rescue someone named Anna. Now, what we usually have to do is just drive there and then we have to go and attack all these people just to get to her. But there's actually a really, really simple, I want to kind of call it an exploit, but also something that isn't really a glitch or anything. What you can do is actually call Meriwether, request a helicopter pickup, shoot the actual pilot, and then you can take, and then you can take control of that helicopter and just land on the roof. And it's a very simple mission from there. So of course, just go over to your contacts, go over to Meriwether, 
and then you want to request a helicopter pickup, which is only a thousand dollars, so it's actually really cheap. Now from here, you actually want to make sure you have enough space for the helicopter to land, so I just try to get all these people to stop real quick. Alright, so whenever the helicopter actually lands, you won't supply a gun, but he's very quick. So if you don't do it fast enough, he will lock the doors, and then he'll actually fly away. So you have to do this very quickly. So there we go. Just enough where he actually doesn't lock the doors, so there we go. And now from here, what we do is get in the helicopter and then just go over to Anna. So of course, Anna's going to be in this motel, and so all you gotta do is land on the rooftop... And then you can get her from there. So there you go. Just land on the rooftop and then wait for her to get here. And then after this, you just have to fly back to Madrazo's house. So there we go. We actually got 100 RP just for delivering her back to Madrazo. We got $12,000, which is not bad at all. It could definitely be a lot better. But the RP is actually really good. We got 2,681 RP, which is actually really good compared to a lot of missions. Especially for the fact... That this one's very easy and quick. So, of course, from here is you cannot replay it. But what you can do is go back to free mode. And this is why I recommend going into an invite-only session. As loading into an invite-only is so much faster like that, for example, than going back into a public one. And then from here, you just go and you redo this over and over again. And that is the entire RP method for this one. Now we're going to move on to our very last one, which is actually going to require... Uh, more than just an RP level is going to require money as well, which is why I made this one last, but it's actually the best RP method out of all three of these, and so far the best one in the game. So of course, let's go ahead and get to that, but first, let's go and type our sponsor for today's video. Have you ever been broke in GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you, and back to the video. And the very last RP method is going to be doing the cargo sales. Now, because this is actually a very long and detailed type of thing, I'm going to make this very basic and try to make it as general as possible. If you actually want more information on this, I have a whole video dedicated to doing the cargo sales just for RP. So I'll leave a link in the description for that. But basically, in order to get started with this, you do need to purchase two things. One is going to be an office, and the second one is going to be a warehouse. Now, in order to buy an office, you want to go over to your phone, go over to Internet, click on Money and Services, go down to T Find Dynasty Executive, enter Site, and you have all of these options to choose from. Now, to make it easier, on the top right hand corner, click on Offices, and now you have four of them. And if you own the Criminal Starter Pack, you can get the Mates Bank West for absolutely free. Now, once you actually purchased your office, what you have to now do is go and purchase a warehouse. Now, you do have to go to your office in order to purchase that warehouse. Once inside your office, you want to go ahead and sit down at your computer. This is actually where you can actually purchase your warehouses, and you cannot do this anywhere else. So, from here, log in, go to Special Cargo, and then you're going to have this entire like page here. From here, you just want to click on Warehouse Map, and if you guys own them, it's actually going to show up as green. Now, to anyone who's new, it's going to show up as this, and the red ones are the ones that you don't have purchased. So, the cheapest one is going to be the convenience store lockup for $250,000, all the way up to $3.2 million for the large. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one you choose, but basically what you're doing is buying crates and then reselling them. Now, of course, we can do one crate for $2,000, two crates for $8,000, or three crates for $18,000. Now, for RP reasons, I recommend doing it one crate at a time. As the RP gives you the same amount, uh, depending on how many RP crates that you sell. For some reason, I'm not sure why that is. But if you're going for money, do it three crates at a time. If you're going for RP, do it one or two crates at a time. So, of course, I'm going to do two crates here. So, let's go and confirm it. And then from here, you just do exactly what it tells you to do. 
So for this mission, what you have to do is go to the dinghy and then you will want to drive out to sea until you find the Marquis. After that, you have to destroy it. We got him delivered and we got a good bit of RP off of that. So inside of each of your warehouses, you're going to have a staff member. Now what they can do is actually store special cargo on the side for you. And sometimes they'll give you one crate, sometimes two, and the max is going to be three. And depending on which type of crate it is, is how much money it is. Now, of course, you got to do that for each of your warehouses. So if you've got five of them. You're going to have five different staff members to do that with. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and just start selling here. So you want to go over to your computer inside of the warehouse. And depending on how many crates you have is how many you can sell it. So what I always like to do if I was going big on this is for five of the warehouses, I would put 10 to 15 crates in each one. And then I would sell them all in one big swoop just all together. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and sell this. And if you're doing this for RP reasons, it's best to do it maybe like five crates at a time instead of 15. That's more for money. So, of course, for this one, we just got to enter the truck. Sometimes it's going to be on a truck. Sometimes it's a boat, it's like a tugboat. And sometimes it'll be through plane. This is honestly one of the best ones. I actually like doing this type of stuff with the vehicle. So, for this one, we have to use the Trackify on our phone to actually find our clients. And there we go, look at that massive amount of RP we just got for it, as well as $22,000. Now from here, you just kind of keep on cycling that over and over, and you will level up really quickly. You can see here, even though I am level 446, I am still getting a ton of bars just off of doing this. So yeah, best RP method so far. Other two are really good, especially for lower level players, but this one is by far going to be the best. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.